Canberra sort of has a reputation of, of being fairly proactive. Right. So quite often, so sort of when we're, we're coming into a, a, an orbit or you know, sort of an encounter, yeah. we'll actually have projects coming, okay, this is the scenario that's going to happen. We're, we're looking for a way of maximizing data. How do you think we should be doing it? Yeah, so right. we're, we're really lucky that uh, you know, so the projects have, have faith enough okay. in us uh, to actually sort of, you know, so we can give them suggestions and, and they'll follow them. Awesome. And of course, there's always a race, <laughs> you know, so spe yeah, was, or spe yeah, yeah. especially when, so, you know, you've got Goldstone and Canberra supporting. And <laughs> right. what we'll try and do is for an important event, we'll, yeah. we'll try and overlap. So, ah. so oh, of course, so so you, just in case one goes down. That's yeah. right. So yeah, yeah. for redundancy. So you have the yeah. Goldstone folks sitting there, eager beaver, yeah. and you've got the Canberra folks. And we're just sometimes you think, should I just preempt it and say we're in lock and we're not? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and just say, oh, the monitor data will update eventually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, there's, there's, a, there's a, a, a friendly uh, camaraderie between the network right. and uh, the complexes, but also, so, yeah, there's a healthy competition as well. Interesting. Does point include a rotational point as well? Because it, it went up and then it's just rotating. It's got a, long, it's got a lot longer to go. So if you oh, look okay. at it, so, oh, right. you know, we were about 60 degrees, the yeah, stow yeah. angle is 89, so it has, you know, so very little distance to travel. Oh, what, with 60 degrees? Between yeah. 60 and, and oh, 89, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. where you'll probably find that we were pointing around about 213. Yep. And that has to go all the way back to 17 degrees. So. Mm -hmm. But it looks near vertical now, but it's... Yeah, 88 degrees, so we, we don't go 100, essentially 90 degrees. Oh, 90, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so it's a little offset. Yeah, so, so when we go to stow, yes, we always both move the antenna up mm -hmm. um, when we're in between tracking and rotate the base to get back to the... Not much pressure on the cables that go through. Oh, yeah. got it, got so it. So cable course, wraps is the yeah. restriction. So you couldn't just continually spin the thing? No, right. no. 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 Uh, Goldstone have tried. It seems it doesn't work. <laughs> By, uh, no, it's, it's, it seems... Uh, yeah, they, they, the they cables just, are very much they? like an, an, an umbilical cord. Right. And so, uh, yeah, you just... Yeah, they did. Somebody uh, kept going and didn't notice. Uh, there, there was no. Yeah, I think there was a bit of confusion as to which wrap they were in, oh, so, ouch. or the antenna was, anyways. Did and, they, and they broke cables, didn't they? They did. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> what a goof! Yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. But that's the problem when you're, you're looking at uh, this size of hardware. So mm. just one tiny mistake, and oh, essentially yeah. it can be quite catastrophic. Yep. What's the worst that's happened to you? Uh, for me personally, yeah. so. Oh, I've got so many screw-ups, oh, right, I don't really okay. want to share. <laughs> but no, and, and normally they're dough moments, you know. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, although, so there's an element of automation uh, so that we use. And strangely enough, that automation was, uh, was designed in Canberra. So we developed oh. for the entire network. So we're not just a, uh, essentially a, a NASA site. We also contribute right. as well, so awesome. as, as far as development. Uh, so, but the, there's an awful lot of manual intervention okay. and any time there's, there's, there's intervention and the reason why they do it is because sometimes automation doesn't know what, which is the right choice to make <laughs> you know it, it has data coming in and it can it can take a guess but ultimately so it's the control I mean we had an issue the other night where we were we had three spacecraft on 43 at the same time and we were having problems with the dichroic mirror it had just rained and we were finding that we were getting water residual on the, on the cavities, yep. and it was actually attenuating uh, the, two of the Mars missions. So we oh, had wow. the dichroic in place for MUM, uh, and so we had MRO and Odyssey bringing down high, high data rates, and they're like mm. three megabits. And I, I knew that the dichroic was the, the issue, so, yep. so do I let one project... Oh, interesting. The dilemma was, do I allow the high rate data yep. to be successful or do I maintain an uplink on to a spacecraft, which is a low rate spacecraft? Uh, would, so would you make that call? I did. You did? So, oh, okay. I, and, that, and, that's, and right. that's what we have. We, we do have, uh, essentially, we have control of... Uh, of that's of, interesting. Of, so. I would have assumed that, that would, you would call them up no. and go, which one do you want, guys? Actually, see, we... Like, there, there are certain times, if I'm in doubt, yep. and especially if, if there's a, a project that has a, re a special requirement, then, then I probably would. Ah. Uh, but in this case, uh, it, was, it was fairly cut and dried that, uh, right. you, you know, you sacrifice the one to save the two. <laughs> right. 
What about the, uh, what's the uplink like? I mean, so, so is it just, we, me and Dave were talking about this, like, is it just internet these days to get back to the other, to mission control and to the other? It is fiber. Yeah. Uh, you, you're looking, oh, yeah. so yeah, it's all fiber now, so. Oh, what, you've got a direct fiber link? Yes. To, oh, okay, so, so you laid one, is it? No, 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 so, no? and, and we, we do, we do hire them from, oh, okay. right. from our service providers as well, so. Oh, okay, so, so but you, technically it's fiber all the Correct, way. yeah, oh. and, and we have uh, a redundant path as well, yeah. so. Right. Okay. What about in the old days though? So like, so I was what Dave made me watch the dish. Well, if you if you're looking at uh, the microwave dish up there, it's uh, oh, so that thing up in the yeah on on the hill there. We used to have uh, essentially a source that used to be the repeater right. uh, tower. So the one was just camber or something. Does camp, it? it used to go directly to Black Mountain Tower, yeah. oh, right. which uh, which is again is why so this location was picked. Right. Uh, it's not quite so sort of direct line of sight, but so with that repeater there, so it meant that we could have you know. I think when I started, the full 10 megabits, so <laughs> so, so, so uh, to, to Canberra. And yeah. So, yeah. Well, but like the video stuff though, like so like, so I guess that was over at uh, the other. The that was at Honey. No, Honeysuckle transmitted to here, and then because this is the only facility during the moon landing you talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That like the old old days. Yeah. Only, yeah. The, old, only old the deep days. space network had the capability. To well, but remember, it's all it was all black and white. And so, you know, the, the resolution would have been absolute poxy. Yeah, but that's okay. I just meant like what the phys it was, but if it was microwave. Yes, I think, I think, yes, I think Honeysuckle, what they were receiving, they sent it here, yeah, we sent and then it you to the exchange. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and went up to ABC Studios in Sydney, and then they sent yep. it over to the US. I gotcha. So Australia got it slightly before the rest of the world. Nice. I was just reading <laughs> last night how they did because the camera on the, uh, as he's coming down the steps, it's a slow scan TV camera, right? That's so it's not 30 frames per second no, no, no. in That's NTSC. Exactly. What they did is at the control room here, they got it onto a high res monitor with a special phosphor, like a high oh, okay. time. And then they had another camera and an NTSC camera that just filmed the monitor. Mm. And that acted as a frame buffer oh, and go. format converter to convert it to NTSC, which is what the whole world watched. Which is like what we just did too when we were filming a screen. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, keep it the tradition alive. That, that's how they did it. And yeah. it was like, because they didn't have the technology to do digital capture frame no. conversion and read like back then. So they had to film a monitor. Yeah, like, actually we just had the, uh, the anniversary what was it, of Honeysuckle Creek. So, oh, right. Yeah, yeah of the opening. So, and yeah. uh, my super, when I first started, my supervisor was the operations manager at oh. Honeysuckle Creek at the time. And, oh, awesome. you know, he, he so talks, so tells the stories of uh, yep. talking to the astronauts and so. Nice. No, in the, actually, so we, 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 well, well, we, we did as well. So when I first started here, so this site was uh, 46 again, the yeah. 26 meter, was, was, was involved with shuttle. Oh, okay. So, yep, yep. so we were talking, and shuttle is really low Earth orbit. Yeah. Uh, so, and it used to zoom over here seven or eight minutes from horizon to oh, horizon. Oh, wow. And yeah. we, we used to say hello as it popped its head over, <laughs> and so have a conversation as fairly compressed you can, you yeah, can have yeah, in, right. in that seven minutes as, as right. they disappear over. Because they used to disappear into the zone of exclusion, so which was always the, the problem. So, you know, so being so low, uh, the the coverage was was really patchy and that's when the TDRS network came in which was a, a tracking data relay satellite system and essentially what that did it put an umbrella system above shuttle oh, and wow. from that point onwards uh, 46 was no longer used so uh, they had the network that was all relayed down directly to White Sands so the future however so we now know that uh, so the deep space network will be directly involved with future Manned space flight. Oh, so, great. so okay. any person moon, that's Mars. moon and Mars, yep. moon yep. Mars asteroid, yep. whatever, that's so they cool. can. So yep. it'll be interesting. Great. Although I always like the, you know, <laughs> they had a show on not so long ago, and uh, they were talking about people who had signed up for Mars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, no, I don't yeah. know. It was fairly tongue in cheek, but yeah. so, and you had this one girl who was very serious, and you know they were saying, you know, are you happy for a non-return? Mm. Trip to Mars. Oh yeah, well, we're happy with that. Everyone says that. Until we're we're happy. <laughs> that, that, that's right. <laughs> and she said, "But well, that's okay. I can I can still keep in communication with with a family through Skype." Mm. Oh <laughs> no, you can't. And uh, I thought, you know, and with the position of Mars, that that time, or the 
yeah, the speed of light, it, it does vary greatly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, can, does, it can yeah, be anything yeah, down to seven minutes. Up to or, 30 or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah so I just had this picture of a very stilted conversation. <laughs> so, when, the, uh, when the fiber network shows slow, me and Dave had that problem. It's about, it gets to three, four hundred milliseconds. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's completely annoying. unusable at that yeah, point. So, yeah. yeah. And, and that's just audio. You have no idea how hard it is just to do an, a live audio show with two people on opposite sides of the planet, yeah. let alone video. It's like... Especially when one of them's a little excitable. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I know with, with us, uh, you know, you're talking about the, I mean, Skype's one aspect, but even just uh, communicating with spacecrafts is an issue as well. Yeah. And it's, uh, as I said before, it's all cause and effect, you know, so what you do on Earth, you have to remember that, you know, so you've got to get to the spacecraft and back again. But even more importantly, when, you, when you're having an occultating spacecraft, and this is where it gets a bit complicated, you have to transmit to actually hit it as it's coming out. So you have to have started transmitting ah, to it. Of course, before. Be, before it's, yeah, it's yeah. come out of occultation. So, and, and, and likewise, so, you know, you have to switch drive off to, to correspond with it going into occultation. Yeah. So, so you have to anticipate that as well. So all the, all the dynamics of a, you know, a spacecraft going around a planet, so you, mm. sometimes you have to get your head around so as well. It's, it's not as simple as just transmitter on, transmitter off, mm -hmm. and then receive a signal. No, no, no uh, subspace network like in Star Trek. <laughs> it's always nice when they're doing real time stuff. You're like, yeah, 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 right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Get the communicator out. Yeah, of course, right. Yeah. It'd be nice.